have my apron on and you know what that means. It's baking day. Hello everyone, Jennifer here and welcome back to The Daily Connoisseur. So it's baking day in our house. I'm going to be stocking the chest freezer for winter. So Mega Motivation continues this month and this month's theme is garage organization. I thought I'd go really niche with this topic and show you the chest freezers that we have in our garage. We have two chest freezers and how I like to store them. This is also a recipe video. I'm going to be stocking the freezer for winter. So we're going to make a lot of muffins and some quick breads in today's video. All of the recipes will be linked down below as well as the playlist for Mega Motivation. Don't forget to check out all of the other YouTubers videos. Oh, before we begin, how cute is this apron? This is inspired by Nikki's apron. She has the cutest apron. So I'll leave her shop link down below as well. All right, let's get started. Okay, we're in our garage and I'm showing you the two chest freezers that we have. We have this one here and we also have this one over here. So I do like chest freezers because they contain a lot of things, they hold things. But the problem is, is that the things on the bottom are hard to find, <laughs> hard to get to obviously. So I try every few months to go through this and to um, lift up what's at the bottom, but those are kind of like long-term storage food things. And at the top is what we access more on a regular basis. So I do always have a few grocery store breads in the freezer here. And sometimes I'll have homemade breads in the freezer and I just have it in case we run out of bread. So in this one, for example, I have some grocery store breads. This is like the kids freezer, chicken nuggets. We have some pizzas in here and I have, you know, like Trader Joe's butter chicken. So I have a cauliflower pizza under here. This is like the pizza, bread, nuggets. Um, for example, here's some non bread. Oh, no, what, that's not non bread. This is an egg frittata. So I just have a few convenience foods in this freezer. I do have frozen meat down below it. I have some of the butcher box ground beef down here, for example. And so I have, um, that's what's comprises this freezer here and this freezer here we're going to the future but here are the muffins <laughs> so I'm going to show you in this video it's baking day so I'm going to show you the muffins that I made so these are the pumpkin uh, trusel muffins these are the zucchini muffins um, I'm also showing you some blueberry muffins we have since eaten them all so that's the funny thing sometimes I'll do baking day and we end up eating everything and here is the banana bread have this on top I have hamburger buns French French rolls for when we do um, my favorite beef au jus dip you know I, I've shared that with you before I have some chimichangas and fish sticks so then at the top these are cherries for smoothies at the top is what we access regularly here's a few greens I have okra and then some greens there and then at the very bottom might be more meat so it is a bit uh, you know, it's not ideal because you have to dig to get to the stuff at the bottom, but if you know where everything is, it's it's good. We got these at Best Buy, so they hold a lot, and when you have a big family like ours, it's very handy. Okay, we're going to start off with the blueberry streusel muffins. These are a family favorite, probably the most universally liked muffin. <laughs> so I'm taking my dry ingredients and preparing them right now. Of course, I'll have all the recipes uh, listed for you down below, but I have some flour here along with some baking powder and salt and You're going to mix that all together and then I'm going to prepare my blueberries by putting some flour in them and letting that sit That prevents the batter from turning purple Now in my KitchenAid mixer. I'm mixing together some soft butter along with sugar adding the eggs vanilla extract and some lemon zest. And once that's mixed together, you're going to incorporate the dry ingredients. And then I add my milk. Mix until it's a nice, smooth, creamy consistency. 
and then fold in the blueberries with a spoon. You don't want to do that in the paddle mixer because it'll smush them up. Then I'm going to fill my muffin tins and put a streusel topping on top. And the streusel topping is composed of flour, some brown sugar, and butter. And you really can put whatever you want in here. You could put oats, you could put cinnamon, just depends. So this is what they look like when they come out of the oven. And the trouble with these is that everybody wants to eat them all and we never have enough to freeze. <laughs> so you could double or triple this recipe because it's so good. All right, here I'm also making a chocolate chip banana bread. I've made this for you so many times on the channel. I will leave the recipe link down below, but I won't go through all the steps right now. But this bread freezes really well and uh, it's perfect for tea time. Now I'm going to show you the pumpkin streusel muffins. These are really delicious for fall. So I'm combining my dry ingredients here, the flour, sugar, and then this is baking powder, baking soda, salt, and cinnamon. And I'm blending that all together along with my eggs and the pumpkin and a mixture of oil and water. And top them with the same streusel topping. When they come out of the oven, they are so golden and sweet and delicious and uh, pumpkin-y. They're fantastic. And now we're going to make zucchini muffins. A lot of people have a lot of zucchini this time of year from their garden, so this is a great way to use it. So again, I'm going to combine the dry ingredients here. These all have similar ingredients, so flour, baking powder, cinnamon, sugar and I'm going to put in some milk oil and vanilla extract and my shredded zucchini you could put as much or as little as you want this is about a cup and a half then you mix it all together and I had forgotten to put the egg in so I put the egg in and now I put them in the muffin cups again and yep I top them with streusel <laughs> you don't have to top them with streusel but I just find it gives it a lovely coating now I like to make muffins for the freezer because these individual servings are very handy when you're serving breakfast to the kids or if you want an afternoon tea time treat but you don't want to take out an entire loaf and cut it up. Uh, muffins are perfect. You can quickly put them in the microwave if you want to eat them that way or you can put them in the oven for a few minutes. These are all really delicious and we have stocked the chest freezer with muffins for fall. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope it inspired you to stock your freezer for the winter. Do you keep a freezer in your garage? What's your situation? I would love to know. Don't forget to check out the Mega Motivation playlist down below. Keep calm and remain classy, everyone, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.